Welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy, Ivor and Spice, and welcome to the Catch Up Volume 8. Today we have a new show, of course. As you remember, Catch Up Volume 7 was just me. I'm switching it up. I've got my two boys here beside me. You know, I've got my boy Amuk. What are you saying, brother? That uh, man's right. I'm looking forward to this. Yes, and my boy Jakes as well. What are you saying, fam? I'm good, bro. Looking forward to putting forward my opinions, you know, and that. Uh, Passionate United fan. Yeah, so let's go. Let's do this. Guys, remember, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe yeah. and press that like button. And also press the notification. And remember to share, guys. So, guys, this week, throughout the past few weeks, a lot of things has been going on around Manchester United, surrounding Manchester United. A couple of transfers, a couple of significant events, guys. You know what I mean? You know, you got you got people like Greenwood doing their madness. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know them for them? Young age. young age. <laughs> He's young. He's young, I know. But of course, we guys, we have to talk about our new signing, Donny van der Beek, the Dutch maestro. Amara, what I mean, what do you think about that? To be honest with you, do you remember last week when he came? Yeah. I did not really. I wasn't happy because I've been one of them fans that believe that Manchester should have done more than what we've done so far. But mm -hmm. I had a conversation with you guys. I, I felt like you guys were a little bit excited about van der Beek. Obviously, he's a quality... And I used the same opportunity to go on YouTube, watch videos, because I don't really watch him like that, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I knew about him, but I didn't know what he actually does. But how do you not know about him? He was playing in Champions no, League. No, he was not, very the champ not, not just the Champions League, he played against United in yeah. the World Cup, Cup final. Yeah. He came in in the second half, I think. Mm -hmm. But, you know when I did not really pay attention to him too tough. But one thing I can say, I like about this guy, after I spoke to you a lot, that like you actually gave me a little bit of motivation to you. Be positive, you know, I was really negative last week. Yeah, uh, this guy was, was <laughs> actually really negative. Really signed Jack Grealish. You know? I wanted, I want Grealish. two players, I want Sancho and Grealish, but we got Van der Beek. And now, when the YouTube watch videos, I was impressed with one thing. What was that? Box to box, to box. yeah, of course. True. True. And when I saw that, I was like, Pogba got someone because one thing I noticed about Pogba is always had the stress. The media, players, everyone look up to Pogba. Bruno came in and helped Pogba. Another season starting, Pogba should be right. Because I believe Pogba is the man of, is the man of United. Yeah. I really like it or not, I believe it's the man that owns that team. Yeah, you would say that, but you, plenty of fans will just disagree. <laughs> no, I know. I, I'm slightly disagree, but let's just put facts. Someone who shows, like, you know me, it's all about mentality. Yeah. Someone who shows that attitude that oh, I love this club uh -huh. I want to work for this club yeah like I remember one day like a few months ago I was upset with Pogba and you told me more you gave me facts you said more has he ever done anything stupid in the media towards Manchester yeah no no did he miss training no, no. did he go out drinking in the pub no no did he invite a couple of girls to the hotel room no. during protocols at hours no no so when it comes to being professional uh, Drogba or Pogba is actually a professional so that bit there, I understand. So him having a little bit of freedom to do what he does, which we all know, yeah. Juve and that, Van der Beek is going to give him that, just because it's box to box. And guess what? Van der Beek is going to also help my friend, the midfielder United, which is yeah. Matic. Mm -hmm. So, because he's young, obviously I'm happy about him now, because I've seen things that I didn't know before, Yeah. but now I'm happy. Even though I still think we need to do more, but now I'm happy about Van der Beek. And Jax, what do you think about the signing of Donny Van der Beek? Tony, Tony, Tony. Do you know what? Yeah. It's a good squad signing. Mm -hmm. But we need to do better. In what way? What do you mean by that? Just I feel your, like the mind. next two or three signings need to be four, five star signings. With Donny, I'm a bit lukewarm because he's been wanted for the last maybe two years. Yeah. But no one signed him. And we but, signed him now for 40, was it 40 million? 40 euros? million, 40. But just to add to you, you have to change the No, this is his last season, so... Okay. Yeah. You, you have okay. to pick up that Ramon Jesus was very interested in signing Donny van der Beek last season. Just that the coronavirus, as you know right now, Ramon Jesus are cashless. They don't have money right now, they're broke. So of course, a lot of players are going for a cheap price. Donny van der Beek was always going to be 40 million. Good squad player, I'm not going to lie, I'm yeah. still a bit lukewarm about it. Yeah. Let's just see. Um, I feel like, first and foremost, you might need to get rid of players. We've still got Fred, who I thought had a decent season last season. Mm -hmm. Done well before mm -hmm. the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. We've still got McSauce, who I think is decent. Mm -hmm. 
he can probably. Yes. I'm hearing reports of him turning into a right back or turning into a centre back. That was, I'm that not was sure. for Scotland. That was, oh, Scotland. That was Scotland. There's, There's no, no way he's going to be a centre back in the league. We're not having that. We're not having that. I'll, 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 I'll have you bought a centre back? No, no way. Yeah. Is he even a ball playing midfielder? Yeah, that's, that's the question right there. Ask yourself, I know he's a one of the players. Is our player, mm-hmm. or is he actually that comfortable in the ball to be playing defender? Mm-hmm. To be a defender? But is he comfortable in the ball? Should he stay? Is he a squad player? Or does he need to go? He, Matt? Max Sauce, yeah. Max Sauce. No, Max Sauce is a squad player. We should trust him. He's a squad player. He needs to leave then, because apparently we're also he needs with to leave. Thiago. So who needs to Magic. leave all these midfielders? He leave. I'm not going to lie. The person that should be leaving is probably, I would say, probably you might not like it, of course. If it's in the midfield department, it would definitely have to be Juan Mata, Jesse Lingard, and Andres Pereira to make new way for someone like Donny And Mandy. I totally agree And someone like Thiago Alcatara. I totally agree with you. I totally agree with you. When you said um, um, Mata, and you said um, Pereira and Jesse, because these are Jesse and Pereira, Mata, I've seen what he's done for United. Mm-hmm. I would love Mata to, to come back at United, not to play, as but to be as a coach, yeah, to be the yeah, part yeah, of that yeah. coaching squad, because I believe his ability is incredible. Mm-hmm. Yesterday, I was literally watching Chelsea highlights. Yeah. Watch what he done. They were showing um, highlights about Hazard. Mm-hmm. Literally, he gave Hazard half of his goals that he scored in his first season. Very and season. I was like, you know, we need that pe- we need that person in United. Just because we, like I said, Patrick, remember I said to you last week, we got a whole team full of youngsters. So we need these older players, experienced players, to come in this team just to, like, it's education. But why can't we have quality experienced players? Because for me, matter. Like... He should have left like two years ago. As much as I love him, I'm not as much as I love him, that, he should have left last season when they, but, when they gave him a new contract. But then again, we're in a whole different pandemic. But Jens, you see what I was saying, Patrick, the last time. Yeah. How you gonna get rid of someone? We need to have someone else to replace that person. That's true. But then that's when it's about making space. And because right now for United, it's very hard for us to sell players. So I'm thinking, okay, Don B, it's good that we brought him in. We're still looking to get another DM because Matic is on his last legs. Again, that's just we need to make room. Okay. We need to make room. Okay. Now I understand. I totally understand with you, but, but but the thing that I'm saying is we have to absolutely have to sell players, Patrick. Mm-hmm. Patrick, how are we gonna keep the same players at this club? We've been going for four or five seasons with the same players. I ain't talking about when Ferguson left. I'm talking about when that rebuilding started. Because for me, Bangal's first two seasons wasn't really what I expected. I just call it a glimpse. Because we still didn't do nothing that Bangal taught us. We didn't, we, we're not using his philosophy, his formation, tactics, nothing. So I was kick that and move forward in terms of talking about the future, right? Well, last Manchester doing right now, sell two free players and bring in quality, quality players that could do the job for us, Jacks. You don't know how he stressed. I wasn't even happy about Van der Beek, but seeing what he does. Mm-hmm. Listen, I'm his not stats are good. No, 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 stats are good. First of all, you need good. to acknowledge that we've signed a player that's has been played. Like, although, although the Dutch league isn't the highest, he's playing for the best team in, in Holland. He's playing in the Champions League. So he's playing, to me, he's playing at, at the highest level, especially when he's playing in the Champions League mm-hmm. against the top quality teams. True. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Not just so, not just uh, um, what's it called, the best team in Dutch football, but the best team in the world. Yes, to, one of the top clubs in to the world. Groom young players. Yeah. Oh sure, for sure. So you, if we get a young star from that club, that's one of the things that I had to take into positivity. Does he start straight away though against yeah. Crystal Palace next week? I don't think he's gonna, I don't think he's gonna start, but I believe he's gonna be one of the starting players for United. Okay. I, I believe I hope so. I believe he's gonna come I in and out of the team so. starting certain games no, because there's so much games for us to be honest with you, as much as I like Mata, uh, 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 um, what's it called, Fred? I, I, I rather use Van der Beek. I've seen qualities, Patrick. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, he gets the ball from the midfield, like I said, box to box, right? Yes. And he's going towards you. He got his quality that, like, and most midfielders got in the Premier League do it, and that's mistake. They take the ball backwards. No. We need someone that takes the ball forward. Like we see when you when we got Bruno, I told you last week, I love Bruno. Bruno is Bruno reminds me of Kaka. Do you remember? When they get the ball mm-hmm. straight, the guy is straight ahead. Van der Beek does the same thing. 
with that attribute there, I think it should be all right, Bobo. Okay, so so guys, let's just move on from Donny van der Beek. Of course, wonderful, we, wonderful. We've got other um, players that we've been linked to. Um, of course, we have players like Thiago that we mentioned before. We have someone like Rugelian and Tellers that we've been we've been linked to. Two left backs and one centre attacking midfield. Of course, we have been linked to Jaden Sancho, but that's a uh, that's something else that we can talk about another day because. Or we can talk about it straight away because there has been some significant news surrounding Jaden Sancho. Sky Sports News actually said that um, Manchester United have agreed um, um, a uh, agreement, with, no, not fee, an agreement, contract agreement with the agent and with the player. Like it's not news that we already know. Why do Sky Sports come two thousand and late with their news? I don't understand. We got we we got certified transfer. Transfer genius like um, Fabrizio Romano, who announced it like two months ago. I think Sky Sports News should be, their breaking news should be whatever Fabrizio Romano tweets. Because for them, they're just behind. But I did tell you a few weeks ago. I did tell you. I yeah. said Sky Sports acts up when it comes to transfer. Yeah. I did say, because I've seen things that they put on of Sky Sport that wasn't even true. Uh, exactly. I've seen that. Not once or twice, a whole lot of times. But at the end of the day, I'm not taking nothing away from Sky Sport because they are one of the biggest and one of the best that way we can get all the information from in that. But one thing I'm trying to say towards what you said about um, what Sky Sport said about Manchester agreeing with um, um, Bruce, uh, Bruce No, but at first they said that um, many um, reports were saying that we haven't agreed it was an agent fee issue. Bruce mm -hmm. um, Romano last month said that um, agreement terms and agreements already been agreed. Mm -hmm. This guy's also announcing that the terms and agreements for the player has already been agreed. I'm like, what's going on? Like, late. <laughs> why are you always late? Seriously, I feel sorry for people like JSP, but oh, I think Sky Sports really truly should be reporting for whatever they read on Twitter I mean, or Instagram from people like Fabrizio, Romano, Simon, Peach, or Simon Stone because their reporters are just shit. Now, I'm going to ask a question, right? Yeah. Do they have a very good link with the because I'm, I, I was watching the Dutch on 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 on, on the, not the German Sky Sport, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you go to Sky Sport in Germany, in Holland, or whatever country, mm -hmm. don't you think I believe they should have good representative that actually go through like are you could not scout to people, but people actually check information about signings and stuff to report it. The reporters. Yeah, but that's they should thing. have a very good report. They, they have because they, they, they got the channels. No, but every every um, what's called news station have um, correspondents of play of uh, what's called of reporters who are just corresponding for that. Well, Patrick club. Sky Sports. Like, is we have big. Jamie Cooper for Sky Sports, who's a correspondent big. for Manchester United. So the they have just people. That's people. They, they are in every single European country. They got channels every country. So them giving you late information. What do you think that but is? But do you know what it is? It's just the modern times with social media and Twitter and WhatsApp. I've heard recently a lot of <laughs> a lot of transfers <laughs> actually negotiated via WhatsApp. When I read that, I was thinking, wow. Yeah. Um, but exactly. because of that, you want to get the information so quickly. I'm going to read a tweet before Sky Sports. Yeah, but exactly. Yeah. No, but yes. So that's just we unfortunate. Got update. One you know? thing that we learn to do is update ourselves with technology. So if you believe, because this is one thing I saw on actually BBC News like last, no, during this corona, mm -hmm. was the news about something that the social media actually got the news before BBC themselves. Mm -hmm. So if you believe that someone, why can't you have like a poll or where people can download videos and send it straight to you? So which means you'd be the first person to put it out. <laughs> it's just a suggestion. I mean, Sky Sports should do that. They should, but they, they don't. They should do that. They should. Pay someone else out there, a random person, he's got a mobile phone, open a portal, <laughs> where they that upload the videos so you can watch I, it. I'm sure a lot of people apply for that job, you know. I'm not going to lie to you, even yeah, afterwards. Patrick, if you apply for the job, are you going to be there then, then? No, you won't be there. Yeah. So that next, if Jeff was there, this guy's still getting the information. Because he was there before Patrick how was they, there. How would they... Um, how would they measure the accuracy of, of the information? Mm -hmm. How would they measure the accuracy? Patrick, the uh, me, I, I go back because if I'm a fan. Them. If I'm sending transfer rumors to Sky Sports, Jets. I'm not credible. They don't know who Jets is. Like, how are they going to report from me? Exactly. It has to come from a credible source. But this, I'm saying, it has to come from a credible source, right? You not just have one person. You have on a like a website mm -hmm. dedicated for fans of. People here find themselves in a situation that they go report that news. 
again, credibility. Yeah, yeah, Jax. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Jax, listen, you said this, shit, right? Yeah. Okay, for example, <laughs> if you put up a photo, a video of Van der Beek arriving in Manchester Airport. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Yeah. No, 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 I'm just yeah. gonna, I'm trying to give you an example, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you show that. Mm -hmm. And your rumors, what your rumors been about? Man, Van der Beek going to Manchester. Yeah. You got legitimate information to give Sky. Because he just landed in Manchester United. I'm sure people do that you, still. No, but they don't put it up Sky. You know they do? They've got a segment in D. Mm -hmm. They just put what Pete fans think. I still believe it works. Mm -hmm. But, for, like, for example, like I said last week, right? Why are we getting stressed out for things that we could just find easily? Because <laughs> I told you, I actually told you, Sky Spot gives you late information. I told you last week. Yeah. Okay. This is something I'm used to. I got used to it. Let's let's move on because we have we have player like we linked to Thiago Silva. Mm -hmm. What are we going to sign? I don't want to. I don't want to. Wait, we was linked to him three or four years. Four years ago. ago. When you was when you was at Milan. Milan. No, no, Milan. What are you talking about? Thiago Silva, bro. Talking about Thiago Silva. Thiago Silva. We don't want to play five year old man. That's a no. That's a no. That's a no. Regarding Thiago Silva, um, James, what do you think of that? Do you know what was linked to him about four or five seasons ago? I'm always rating him. You know, from my football manager days, I used to sign him back in the day. Um, for now, for the price he's going at, why not? Why is it 29 million they're, they're but, shouting? 27? Uh, He's a quality player. Immediately, if the likes of Bruno or Paul Pogba gets injured, we've got a quality replacement. I feel like Thiago can probably even start. He's probably even... Hmm. <laughs> there is a... Bruno, a, Pogba, I, I, I'm not going to lie. There are opportunities where Thiago can start. You know, he's an injury-prone player sometimes he gets injured, but when he's starting and when he's there, he's fit. That is a player that's starting. I think I saw him ahead of Matic because he can hold. I saw him again. Funny. He can hold. But I who, who, who he can hold, guys. I still think mm -hmm. I put Thiago in, in, ahead of Matic. As a holding. Yes. You, I saw him against Barcelona. I he saw him against is PSG. Actually, creative he, on the ball. Interceptions. Very, very good. good. Mm -hmm. Running and tackling and getting the ball back. Recovering the ball. Exceptional. Right? You He's don't love Matic. But do you, do you not like Matic? Do you not always take off Matic? He's the one player that slows down the play. And that's why I like him. Because you don't want that fast, fast, too much hey, fast. How old is Matic, man? Matic's like 31, 32. Yeah, Matic 31, needs to be 32. our backup. You need so, to be our backup. So, see, I'm saying Thiago is 29, right? Or 30. Mm -hmm. So, if you get Thiago, mm -hmm. you're going to get two, three seasons. Solid, good three seasons mm -hmm. from true, Thiago. True. So, why not get Thiago? This is someone that we know been linked to Manchester United since Thiago since day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, why not get him? I know. Why not? And I'm actually looking forward to that. If I want to be a happy fan, that could make me happy. And the one thing about it, 27 minutes, you know we are a cheapskate anyway. It's, this is our lane. It will be... No, 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 no. This no, is no, our no. lane. No, no. With Woodward, it will be 22 million plus add-on. <laughs> plus add -on. I'm not even surprised. That's something that Woodward would do. But what about, what about this... The Seville... This Seville left... Is it left back? Um, Regalion that played against us and with Seville knocking us out of the Europa League. What, what's your opinion on, on that? I mean, what's, that, what's your opinion? I don't really know too much about this player, but I still believe that one game could say a lot. Mm -hmm. We do need a left back. That's the thing. Okay. Or oh, back like up left back. Like, not the back up. Or oh, 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 left back that will We need contest, someone. Contest. contest. Yeah. Because yeah. you know what I mean? I like Shaw. I've seen him from where they came from to where he is now. Mm -hmm. But I still think he needs the. Not just a competition, it's like a solid, solid competition. Bro, no, nah, Luke Shaw needs to be back up left back. <laughs> no, no, James, back before up. he becomes he... back up, before nah. he becomes back up, he needs a competition. Someone that can show Williams you. Williams is there. I have so much faith in this young Brandon Williams. Yeah, but a... no, James, Williams is there. I'd rather you show than Williams. You know why? The games that I've seen, I don't know if you noticed, this Williams 10 times likely to get sent off than Shaw. <laughs> so, Jets, the Premier League is hard. It's a very difficult league to play. We need 11 players. You've seen teams losing players, and what happened to these teams? I like him. I would rather, I would rather keep him as a backup, really, than Shaw. Shaw needs someone to compete with him. Shaw needs keeps competing, but physio bench. He's always I, 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 That's what I'm saying. It's competition. Guys, with Brandon William, his natural position is actually right back. 
I heard he's right footed, but right in the youth team, wasn't he playing at left back or was he, he playing at right, right back? back? So I, I believe he can shift and probably give competition to Aaron Man Bissaka in the right okay. back. Okay. And then we're being a left back. We even it was even linked to Tellers. I know that some guy. I know about Tellers. Well, apparently he's very creative. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he's very attacking fullback. And guess what? He's he's me about he's not, no, he's not, not just creative. Free kicks. Yes. Not just creative. Yes. That's what you're gonna say. I was yeah. like, you took it off from my mouth. Sorry. And guess what? He's very comfortable with the ball. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And that's what we need. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we need players he comfortable with the ball. Yeah, James, we got one person that actually came that just giving us signs of what or comfortability does who? Bruno oh yeah sure sure come on <laughs> come on you see me play yeah, yeah. from the very first day what happened we all fell in love with Bruno he was too comfortable like if we get any other sign that does what Bruno does Patrick I believe Manchester we could be competing for the Premier League so guys who would you go for would you go for this um, Regalian or this tennis guy I'm shouting um Tellers, how much are they shouting for him? Tellers is a mature player at the end of the day, he's about 26, 27 yeah, years old. Yeah, he's yeah. a seasoned player. Yeah, that's how, much, how, how much are they shouting for him? No, in us, probably no. be between the region of 20 to 30 million. I'll take Tellers okay, only tell because mm-hmm. I know more of him and I've seen him play more than. Who's this new this guy? Where's he? Mm-hmm. Regalian, 23 year old from, Ra- from Real Madrid, apparently. Really know you know, him. and Real Madrid want to buy back clothes. You know and what happened what? with Real Madrid? Oh, people, Real Madrid. I don't know why we do business with Real Madrid. Patrick, and I, 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 I'm not trying to cut you off. Mm-hmm. I don't even want us to deal with Real Madrid. Real Madrid always sell us flops. Yeah. Always sell us players that they they know are not really that good. But the one thing Manchester does is sell players, our good players, to Real Madrid. Example, Beckham and Henze. Mm-hmm. Henze was highest pick when we sold him to Real Madrid. So why are we doing it? Why can't they do the same thing to us? I would never sell I'd never go for anything. anything. I wouldn't even sell them a virus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you that now. I won't sell them a virus. No, nah. You're probably right though. Because nah. Real Madrid go with very good lawyers. That will, they will scrape the silly penny from your money that you're going to pay for them. <laughs> Jed, they would right and now. do you know what Manchester they does? Money. Mm-hmm. Manchester give money to people for fun. And because we're doing it for years, now the club being in the situation that they got to know how they spend. Which I do understand, but one thing that I, want, I was going to talk to you about the other day, uh, let me just put this up. If we got these big corporate companies, mm-hmm. I mean, corporate companies, he find himself in the um, 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 trading sector mm-hmm. or whatever, mm-hmm. trying to get bail out from government. Mm-hmm. Why can't football clubs do it? I'm just asking, not Manchester specifically, mm-hmm. but why can't football clubs do it? You don't know, because some clubs might be doing it, but just keep it on the down low. Yeah, okay, well, even if they, but no, but you don't have to keep it in the down low. You don't have to keep it in the down low, because this is a football. This is something that, how much money do the media make from the sponsorship or whatever? It's one of the biggest investment in the world right now. So we should know what's going on around it, because we're going through a pandemic. That's affecting every single one of us. But what's that got to do with us? Yeah. What What does that got to do with us? We've been in a, We've been in a, um, what's the coronavirus right. since since the glaciers took over. What's that got to do with us? Actually, we, actually, we, no, 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 we no, really no, know about I'm the pandemic. I'm happy that you got asked that. What's yeah. that got to do with us? Hmm? Yeah. Example. Their share price is fine. No, no, no. Forget, forget about the club. Like, forget about what the club does. I'm talking about Manchester City team, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. We have Corona that lasted almost seven, eight months, right? Since it came out. Okay. We got play, we got fans that buy season ticket, right? Do you think it's gonna affect us? Well, it's not just us; it's affecting the whole world. That's why I said football, as in general. Yeah. So we need to know what's going on in the football world. So if yeah. the football world is gonna take, uh, what's it called, um, 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 government help or aid, we shouldn't. They should report about that. Because Jax, I'm telling you, every single corporate company getting aid. Because the reason I came up with this conversation every. is, you get no every corporate company getting, it. even the bigger ones getting aid from the government. I agree. We need to move on anyway. No, the reason I come up with this, the reason I come up with this, Patrick, is for one reason. Yeah. It's why how the signing. Yeah. Why are we not signing players? Because of course, big, most people company Corona, Corona, Corona. Why are we not signing players? If it's because of Corona, you could use Corona and get players they want. Mm. You see what you said? Mm. How you pay the fee? Yeah. We can use Corona mm. against how we pay our fees. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like no, you just, so, for instance, for the Sancho deal. It they should... said they want 100 and is it 10 or 20 million? 120 million euros. That's 100 euros. But you're not paying it. And if you don't want to pay, don't talk to people. That's how they're going on it. So, in regardless of whether it's coronavirus, whether the vaccines come in, mm-hmm. all of that regard, 
Dortmund want that fee, and that's their valuation on the player. Why do you think no one's coming out for Pogba right now? Doesn't matter. For sure. But we need to move on, guys. Let's move, on to, Let's move on to the no next topic for the show. All right, now. Um, during last weekend, guys, um, I don't know if you guys, I'm very sure both of you guys have seen this. Um, Alexis Sanchez came out with his interview in Spanish, of course, because he doesn't speak no English, even though he's been in England for five to six years. Yeah. But yes, he, he came out saying that his first day at Manchester United in training, he wanted to, um, he called his agent, apparently, and wanted to tear up his contract to go revert back to Arsenal. He was saying a couple of shady things, you know. Like, to me, what I thought, personally thought, that is that Sanchez, what you call it, he's a B-I-T-C-H, -T a bitch, you know, a bitch, like, like, you got sold, yeah, everyone was happy when you got sold, yeah, two or three weeks later, you want to come out with your sour comments saying X, Y, and Z is the reason why, I understand that. At Manchester United, it wasn't the best place to be working at, you know. You had Jose Mourinho there, you know. At that there, 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 there's some truth. I believe there's some truth. <clears throat> but as a man, you know, crying no. because your first day at work wasn't sweet, going back to, oh, I don't like where I work. No one said hello to me. <laughs> no one said hello. No one said, how you doing? No one asked me what I do and all that. I said, so what? So what? Yeah, tough luck. You're a man. Go back tomorrow and show and prove yourself that you're worth all that 500k, you know. I don't know what you guys thought of this Alexis Sanchez, but I I, I, I just thought it was rubbish. I feel relieved. Full of shit. It's full I feel relieved. That's what I was saying. Oh, what do you think about that? You know me, yeah. Patrick. You know I've always been one of the <laughs> best, biggest, one of the biggest supporters. Yeah. For Alexis I, I, I know you. Yeah, yeah. yeah you I are liked him, and the reason I liked him because mm -hmm. he's a good, very good player. But unfortunately, things didn't work with him at Manchester United. Right? Right? And what, what was that? What was that reason for? And I could, I could, I would just be straightforward with you. Not because of Rice, not because of the play himself, it's because mm. of Mourinho. Of course. It's because of Mourinho. And that one there is a fact. Go on. Yeah. Because of Mourinho. So you're telling me you're coming to one of the best clubs in Europe, historically, not at the moment. Yeah. yeah. You're now the most paid player in the Premier League. Yeah. And on the first day, you want to strip up your contract. For me, that doesn't have any bearing on United. Mm. It has all the bearing on his character as a person. That person, yeah, of course. That is a weak mentality. Mm -hmm. Did they go to on the first day of training? Was Phil Jones giving him two forty slide tackle challenges? <laughs> you never did know. Did someone, did someone <laughs> break his leg? Phil Jones is reported to be injuring people in trainers. <laughs> I really want to know. He needs to explain what you happened on that first day. Okay. That he wanted to rip up we 500k can't... a week. I don't know what happened the first day, mm. but all I can say character. is this, what you said, I totally agree with you, I can just emphasize what you said, it's bad character, mm -hmm. and he, I don't want to talk about this because now I'm going to fall like a, sorry for the language, now I'm going to fall like a waste man or something, because <laughs> he always said it, he's always been saying it, what's he, that, what's that, Sanchez character, how he left Arsenal, Arsenal, yeah, Arsenal. because apparently he was, he, was, he, was, he was a bad egg, in so the, he was a bad egg. And I, was, I hate to say it's right. The same thing I said he was right about Mourinho. <laughs> I hate to say you're right. But Sanchez, you're right too. Yeah. But you know the one thing you're about right. Sanchez that he said in his right. interview, he said Manchester United wasn't a team. I can agree with you on that because Mourinho's football wasn't was a team. Mm -hmm. But the one thing I know about Sanchez is that even at his Arsenal days, even though he said that Manchester United was a team, he lost self isolating himself away from the team. He, he is a kind baby. He self isolates himself and loves taking pictures with his dogs. I don't know why he's just about team. He's probably just antisocial. That's yeah. it. He's probably just antisocial. So, what's his excuse about matching that and not being a team? But, Jed, you can't be professional and be antisocial. Of course you can. Why not? No, mm. it's called compromise. Yeah, yeah, sure. I've seen Guamata sitting, Papa, Bailey, um, 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 the new guy from Alon. Uh, Ngalo. Ngalo. Mm -hmm. James. Check that out, guys. Everyone mm. messing around. Yeah. Mark sat there, he was having a conversation. I, as much as older, I, but he was having a conversation. I, What's wrong with Sanchez? I guarantee you if Sanchez was in that dressing room, he'd be playing with his dogs. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Patting him up. I wouldn't agree with him back uh, six months ago, I would agree with him. But now I'm agreeing with him. And that's like <laughs> I said before, I hate telling this, right? Yeah. When it comes to Sanchez and Mourinho, he's always been right with them two people. Be I like fair, Sanchez. In Sanchez's defence, mm -hmm. I can't believe I'm saying this, but at Arsenal, he played like a leader because he was their best player for at least what? But Manchester, you know the best player he had. When he came to us, he knows that he's not he was the best. best player. You should so know that. That's different that, levels. That hunger for me just diminished a bit. I feel like that 500k just 
he thought, you know what, I'm, this is my last contract, put my feet up, I've and come to Manchester. Do you know what bugs me, yeah. brother? Like, I don't want to talk about this. When you see Sanchez, I literally I was going to tell you <laughs> that I want to talk about Sanchez because I was one of the people that actually advocate for Sanchez. How are you going to come to United, right? Remember I told you, I said I would give Ungalo mm -hmm. a deal, like a year deal. I was signing for a deal, for a year. Yeah, yeah not to... No, the, the thing about Ungalo... For a year. I, it doesn't make sense. He came to United. Yeah. Um, um, Jags, you see what happened during the Europa. He won the Europa highest goal score. Who? And Bruno? No, Bruno. Bruno finished top goal scorer, no? In Europa. This Europa League doesn't pass. He finished top goal scorer. He got he got award for Europe. What award did uh, um, Galo get? I don't know. He got award for Europe. Maybe best goal, but I don't Maybe know. Maybe best goal or something. He know, I know he got award because that's what I meant to say in the app. Mm -hmm. it was on our app that I saw that. When was this? That's, that's just something last week. Okay, I know. I'll come. I'll, I'll put it out. But you know what it is, yeah? Let's just forget about what you mean that one. But he came to the our team, helped us win games, mm -hmm. score goals. That how can I say? I've seen a team play a different system, mm -hmm. right? And I've got one individual that got old school mentality. Box the box, stay in the box, just wait to get fed. And mm -hmm. what's the point of that? Score goals. No. So when you're up there, no. you're waiting for someone to feed you, what happens? You get fed and do it. For example, when we had Ruth Vanessa he didn't really come up like that. He was always up there. He didn't come down to you. He was always up there. What happened? Beckham, scoop. Spool scores, scoop. What happened? Scoring fantastic goal. And you even seen dribble from halfway through that scoring. When did we last time we saw someone like that? That strike for United like that, like Wood Runner Do you know what? I'm a fellow Nigerian. I love Igalo. Um, we've extended his contract till, yeah, when? till, till January. Yeah, till January. I don't understand. So, what happens in but January? For me, in January, as much as I love him, the first Nigerian to play, he needs yeah. a cut. Yeah. For me, it's no longer about loyalty with these players. If you don't make the cut, you have to leave. Igalo has played amazing since he's been here, he scored quite a few goals. But well, we need to be looking to the future now. If we want a backup striker, it mm -hmm. can't really be a Galo. Because for me, I'm always measuring ourselves. City, Liverpool, FC Bayern, the top teams in Europe. Yeah, I mean, and unfo Barcelona. unfortunately, Galo doesn't really get, get into those teams. You don't so get for me, any. in January, I, I, don't even bro, think I hope you score another 10 goals before you leave. <laughs> but we need to get someone else. Look at a young player. Maybe Esposito from Inter, you know. Just mm -hmm. to throw a name Esposito. out there. But... Any of these young players to bring them in, man. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. And like what you said earlier, yeah. we need a sprinkle of experience as well. True. So whether we can get that from Thiago, whether we can get that from a centre back, like, I'd love to we see. see I, I'd still love to see Kulabari. Sorry to go off track. No, no, no. But, um, I would love to see Kulabari. I would still love to see him. Maybe due to Corona, we can get him for a sixty-five. But do you know what? Yeah, if, if Manchester United really was smart. Instead of getting Kulabari, mm. David Alaba wants to leave Bayern Munich. He's been wanting to leave Bayern Munich. That is a 20 to 30 million transfer deal ready to be done. And we do need a left side. Left side is centre back. How old is he? 29 going into the 30s, I think. How old is Alaba? Alaba's 27, 28. He's been, he's been doing this thing. Checks. I think. Oh. Yeah, with Kulibali, you'll spend because they still want. Napoli Spice, wants money. Spice, I think we should go for um, Alaba. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. The only reason I said for Alaba, uh -huh. I like Kulibali because the rumors behind him all these years. But you just said Alaba. He's pacey. Yeah, we need that quick. And quick he's got one quality better than um 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 Kulibali. I, I think he's better. Than he's very good on the ball. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Very better. Very very good on the ball than Alibali. Aliba can play left back, centre back, and hold him. And guess what? what? In, the, in the wing, the wing as well. That's what I'm saying. In the like, wing, is like you know everything. Like well, I will say what I would take Alaba for. Then there's you go mid foot situation. Yeah. You got that pass that plays you hold the mid foot. Ah. Uh, he covered left back. He was a left back for how many see, years? You see, he got left back, right back. He's talking about centre mm half. -hmm. Like I'm talking about holding. Mm -hmm. And you see, we just them four position that one individual can do. General Shea times, remember? Yeah, that? exactly. Need that. Oh, Shea, we need that. We need that. We need that. We need that. We need it. I miss that though. I really miss that. All right, guys. Of course, one of the significant events that's happened. <laughs> In in the, well in the England training camp, one of our boys, you know, one of our boys, Mason Greenwood and Manchester City ops Phil Foden. These days, I don't even know why. 
A man that is here is chilling with a man sitting so playing the same room. But to be honest with you guys, yes, yeah, so they got caught um, breaking Corona um, guidelines, virus guidelines, guidelines protocols, sneaking protocols. two young girls into the hotel room. The following day, they got found out. These girls were recording the conversations, of mm. course, and now they have been kicked out. This was the first time they, they were called up for the England team. Mm -hmm. They kind of messed up. Mm -hmm. now, you know what my opinion on all those situation is? Mm -hmm. You know who's fault is? Who? I blame... I, do you know who I blame the most? Yeah. I blame Marcus Rashford and Harry Maguire for not being there. <laughs> if Rashford was not injured, if Harry Maguire didn't do that nonsense that he did abroad, yeah? It would have been a damn business thing because you know what? Phil Foden would have looked at Mason Greenwich and said, Because they're friends. He would have said, he would have said Yo, yo, Mason. And Mason would have said, Big man, don't talk to me, fam. You're the art star. I'm with my man, fam. Don't talk to me, bro. I'm outside here. We can talk to each other, my brother. Bro, bro. You can't talk to me right now, bro. I'm with the man. Like, I hate that still. I hate that. that. I hate that. I, that. And the fact that you have two teenagers. Sitting in the same room. Where was the senior player roommate? The That's senior what roommate. I said. Do you know That's what, what I was said? The young. It's true. Mm -hmm. There should the have been some sort of shepherding scheme, possibly with the younger players, especially as it's their first cap mm -hmm. for England. Yeah. Um, I feel like personal issues like this, of mm -hmm. course, they have their personal lives, and this has all come out. As United fans, we should be there to support Greenwood. He made a big mistake. Mm -hmm. He came out, shut down all of his Insta, Twitter, and all of that. Yeah, you had to do that. He had to market into him, of course. Can you imagine? And then he wrote an apology. My man's 19 years old. Uh, I think at 19, 20, I've done, I've done worse things. The one thing I would say yeah. is that you're playing for United. Unfortunately, you're, you're getting an, a little bit more on your wage as a premium to pay for, play for United. So yeah. you can't make mistakes, unfortunately. Especially yeah. when you get caught up for the first time. Exactly. But mm -hmm. it's the first time. 19 years old, he's squeaky clean. This will be forgotten in six months. And you know what's so funny about this guy? These guys got women, you know? <laughs> they got caught. They <laughs> have women. You got Phil Foden with a woman and a child. And you got Mason Green. I've seen his Instagram account. He's got a woman too. I now, know. guys, do you think, do you think their women's going to take them back, dump them? Because I don't think so. Because they're going to be telling them, guys, oh my God, you cheat on me. I told you not to cheat on me in public, you know? What my family going to think about it? Because they, they care more about, do you think they're going to leave? Because women like that won't leave. Because them guys got money. They're married to the money, guys. Oh, what do you think? Let's hope that the women, the, the women in the way, mm -hmm. don't leave them because of this situation. They won't. I hope they don't leave them. Did Ryan Giggs' wife leave him? No, he. Uh, it's when he was cheating on her. She didn't. No. But I hope they don't, because these are youngsters, like we said. Mm -hmm. Youngsters with young, different mentality, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Like, I actually felt bad for him. No. When, I, when, but, when I read this stuff, he said. Phil Foden's situation is peak. He's got a woman with a child. child. <laughs> now I understand. Rooney's been for it. No, but yeah, you know, yeah, do you know I feel sorry for them? Do you know I feel sorry for them? Rooney was going to have sex with a granny. Gunnar actually said, Gunnar actually said, Gunnar <laughs> still said, stayed, <laughs> even though he liked the old vagina. He said he was nervous. <laughs> and I believe it because, like we said, the youngsters, yeah. okay? Yeah. When someone tells you that I'm nervous to do something because of that youth in them, mm -hmm. they still went ahead and did what they did. You should read not just what the post said. Yeah. What they also said along the line, see, they, because in life, even in, when you commit a crime, the Joe, you basically intent towards the crime, mm -hmm. right? So I'm saying, based on Manchester United as a team, mm -hmm. I would love the club itself to yeah. support this young star. Of course, and the will. English team, the, not just the team staff, the staff members, but the players themselves. Like I read, I, I listened to what um um Harry Kane said. Yeah. In forms of Harry Kane, I yeah. love you for that. You're a good leader for that, right? And also other people should follow your lead. Call these players, talk to them, to let them know that they're not by themselves. Mm -hmm. You lot are also with them. Because yeah. like you lot said, this is the first time they've been called, right? Mm -hmm. Of course. And they're young jets. Like you said, when you're that age, you did a whole lot of things that you, your mom and dad will whoop you for. <laughs> we all did. <laughs> so, yeah, like, right. let's just think about ourselves when we're 19. What we would do when we get ourselves into trouble. Do you know what? I think the main takeaway from this is yeah. the fact that, as we've been saying, they're young. They make mistakes, you know. Um, I feel like the media, the English media, has a uh, 
a history of just <laughs> slaughtering their own English players. Tell like, it makes no it. sense Tell because they're your, they're your assets. They're your you know? owners, Especially well. with the likes of Greenwood and Foden. Mm -hmm. You're looking at upwards of 70 million, either of them. They're great players. Not, so I feel like the media needs need to... Hmm? Chill out a bit. Uh, do do you guys you think they, they mess up their chances of being called up again? They will get called no up again. Way, no no way. way. They're too good. I'm confident that they're gonna go, they, they I, will get called I, again I, and again and again. They're too I, good. I agree. They are the best youngsters. Foden yeah. is sick. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see three of them. You see Greenwood. Foden and the boy at Chelsea. No, no, no. Forget Mouse. the boy. I'm Mouse. Irish. Saka. They Mouse. say Saka. No. Saka is the no, one no, that no, should no, be called up. Saka's hard as well. Saka's hard. 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 But I want to see Saka. Yeah, Mason Mount. Season. Mm -hmm. Mason Mount. I've heard, I've known about him. Where do you think Chelsea? Yeah. yeah. Well, I was saying, you got three youngsters. Yeah. English squad that I actually like. Yeah. One of them is Greenwood, obviously. I got to see Greenwood because he plays for my team. Foden mm -hmm. and Mason Mount. These youngsters will always get caught for England, no matter what they do. And I'm just, I mean, I've been honest because as we all seen, Zach, Zach is sick. He's actually an excellent player. Mm -hmm. But like, I'm just taking what Patrick, uh, what uh, P does, saying, be always say to us, be always say to us, like, what's it called? Um, um, I want to see this player play for two, three, four seasons. Yeah. So if I see, like, for example, I remember King came out. He always told me, no, nah, I want to see another year. I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. And I was like, bro, he's good. Mm -hmm. The very first, the first thing that saw Ken, I said, it's excellent. But he gave himself three seasons, not the following season, three seasons for him to say, no. He's certified. Certified. You need to get that verified. So him saying for uh, Zaka, the same thing like after one season, I want to see more. Now the thing but about me, yeah, the thing about me is that when it comes to players, yeah, certain players, they pass on the eye test. When you look at, you know what I mean by I tell you, when you look at a player, you can tell that that player is very good, the, the control on the board, everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Saka passed my eye test already. Mm -hmm. Kane okay, passed my eye test, but to get that Same. blue verified tick, two, three seasons of consistency. And also remember that Saka mm -hmm. got double assists. Double, double assists in his first season. Playing Coming in late. right back Left. and... Was left, right, 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 left, right, whatever, wherever, wherever like, like, he wasn't behind just the striker. Player. So he's like, a decent, he's a just say he was just literally top five like plays at the back. Top five youngsters. Because the only thing I, I want to think is is positive on uh, um, strong on position is the centre half. Mm -hmm. But you can put left, right, that 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 cover for the centre half. He's sick of it. And one thing he's got that I love about this game, his passing. Yeah. For a young star. His passes are matchless. I love it. As much as I hate his club, mm -hmm. but when you go say the truth uh, about I don't hate his club. Do, I hate Arsenal. I don't hate Arsenal. I don't like Arsenal. I don't worth hating. Enough, enough about Arsenal. Nah, that that, 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 that <laughs> rivalry was in the past, man. I don't so, like Arsenal. Arsenal. Before we had this big, we can say <laughs> I, I hate Arsenal because there was a rivalry there. I as a grown hate. man, I don't hate Arsenal anymore. No, I don't like them. I'm just going to say because mm -hmm. one thing that I experienced as a Manchester United fan. Yeah. I never had a W with Arsenal fun. No, <laughs> even if they know it's true, mm -hmm. let him win. Mm -hmm. They're not giving it to me. Mm -hmm. Just because they will take away from me because I'm Manchester United fan. So why should I be nice to Arsenal fan? Yeah. The two clubs I've done, I'm, I'm never going to be nice to. Arsenal yeah. and Liverpool. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Um, of course, of course, um, we're not playing this week. Of course, we are playing the following week. So, of course, well, we played in the, the Europa League, guys. So, we get an extra week of rest. So the, the, the Premier League's coming back, guys. I'm just going to ask you both of you guys a question of, of course, um, who do you think will finish in top four and who do you think will get relegated? Um, so, James, let me just pose that to you. Who do you think will finish in the top, your top four? If we're talking about relegation? now, sorry to cut you off. If we're talking about now, mm -hmm. um, with the transfer so far. Yeah, 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 with the transfer so far. No Sancho, no centre-back, mm -hmm. no Thiago. Mm -hmm. I feel like United will most likely come... Third. But who will be in your top four? Who's going to finish in top four? First, second, third and fourth? Manchester City will come first. Okay. Liverpool will probably come second. And Chelsea fourth, only because I feel like they've neglected their, their defence, albeit they've brought in Thiago Silva. Uh -huh. 35 year old, he'll bring in a bit of stability, but he'll get skinned by men like Aguero, Martial will turn him inside and out. All yeah, of course, it's going to be slow. Everyone that's quick will probably move to him. He's gonna be so um, gonna that be would be my top Silva. four. Arsenal and Tottenham, no chance. And who do you think will get relegated next season? 
that's a tough one. I think Leeds will stay up, you know. Yeah. And I thought that would be great for us United fans because we've got another two games. Yeah, by every the, the, the Rose Derby, yeah. as they call it, you know. <laughs> no. The Rose Derby. Back in the days, um, it was. If I even came to this country, it was in big. Africa, mm. that's something that we'll look forward to. Mm-hmm. Leeds versus Leeds. United. Do you remember the, uh, the, 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 the Australian player? Is it Van Duka? Uh, Mark Van Duka. Duka. Mm-hmm. He, pun- he punished us. Legend. <laughs> <laughs> he punished you. <laughs> so, as you were saying, you were saying, Le- and who do you think will we'll um, get, get to finish? I did get to finish. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I'm not too sure in regards to who will probably get relegated. Um, I think Palace signed that good youngster from QPR. I thought his name is there something. I thought his name, but he's quality. But I do feel that like Palace may go down this season because Zaha will probably leave. Let's just yes, say the rumor is breaking news that he could be signing for Everton or oh, Arsenal. Oh. No, 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 no. Actually, breaking news that you no, he, no, he, he could be signing. Arsenal been wanting for time, time, but he could be yeah. signing for Everton soon. Yeah. 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 That'd be interesting. Like you always say, Arsenal ain't the money to spend. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I feel like Palace may go down, and it hurts my soul because yeah, obviously we're from South East London, and we'll, we do all like Palace, but I feel they may go down. Um, the other two teams, I'm not sure. You know, you're not, not sure. sure. You can't sure. give me anything. I can't give you another two teams. Why not? You have to let me. Let me think on that. Well, we'll, we'll leave that for another day. And um, look, um, who do you think will finish in your top? Who will win the league? Who will finish first, second, third, or fourth? And who will get relegated? I, I will go with what Jake said. Yeah. I still believe Man City yeah. are the strongest opponent in the mm-hmm. Premier League. Every season. <laughs> and I still believe Liverpool come second because mm-hmm. they really, really, they're good. Not the team itself, the manager is better than the team. <laughs> but yeah, Liverpool got a good manager. And I would say United and Chelsea. Fighting for third and fourth. Mm-hmm. The reason I say United Chelsea, I was going to say Arsenal and United. Oh, the reason Arsenal. I say Arsenal and United, because remember, <laughs> nice they, no, 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 no. As soon as you said Arsenal, my eyes lit up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? I don't like Arsenal, right? Oh, no, listen, listen, listen. No, 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 no. I like Arsenal. Mm-hmm. But remember, they going through a transition, right? Yeah. With a Fair new way. manager. Mm-hmm. And you see them against Liverpool. I like what I saw against Liverpool for a starter. Typical Arsenal though. They'll beat Liverpool. You know what I mean? No, but the thing I say Arsenal mm-hmm. and at Manchester, because Chelsea just bought a whole brand new team. Yeah. It's going to take a while for them players to get used to That's themselves. a fair point. That's a fair so point. So you get what I mean? That's what mm-hmm. I was saying. I did see Chelsea as well, mm-hmm. but I still Arsenal and Chelsea fighting for fourth. Okay, fair point. You know what I mean? Because don't take nothing away from Arsenal. As much as we might disagree with some things they go through, but Arsenal will be on the team. But Amu, who will finish in the, th- the, the third and fourth Ooh. place? But she's going to be hard because the Premier League is really hard to predict when it comes to relegation. <laughs> but this, this is just off my head. Uh-huh. I'll still go for what they call Palace, like you said, because they were struggling to the end of the season. Yeah. And... Well, I wasn't really impressed with them the last few games. Even after the, 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 the corona or whatever, I wasn't really impressed. Mm-hmm. So I still see Palace. And I would say... Maybe Leeds, because they haven't been in the Premier League for a very long time. And you see what happened to you, what's it called? Um, um, was it, was it Norwich? Norwich went down. Yeah. Early. 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 <laughs> yeah, the Premier League is a very difficult team. My third team to really get would be um to be honest with you, I would say Fulham. Because they came they came out as well. I can agree with you. They came as well. My top four would be of course Manchester City winning the league. I don't want no Liverpool winning the league. Because it's not gonna be us. Liverpool will finish second. Oh you never know third. Well, I would like that, but they will finish second. Um I've got I believe if we don't sign any more players, I mean, this is, we will finish fourth. Chelsea will take that third place. Yes, that's what I say, third and fourth. And then to be relegated, I definitely would have to go for Aston Villa, Fulham. As much as, say, I hate saying this, it would have to be Palace. Um, they've, mm-hmm. they've been consistently just be flirting with relegation Shin. for the last three or four seasons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, buttress what you just said. Yeah. Example, Woodford. They done the same thing and eventually, yeah, eventually, they, eventually went. they went. Yeah. They so that's why we, that's when I say Palace, mm-hmm. I had to think through what you was going what you were saying. Mm-hmm. And I say Palace, because they've been going through that same route. Mm-hmm. So hopefully they don't, but that's that thing that I might think will definitely really get. 
But yeah, guys, we have come to the end of the show. Of course, guys, uh, first of all, we have to say thank you for watching, guys. And do remember to subscribe and smash that like button. And remember to share, guys. And for Amok, where can the people find you? What's your show? Oh, my show shows, I don't really use Instagram. Oh, I use Instagram, but I use Snapchat like that. It's Amoke. Mm -hmm. My Instagram is pretty flacco. Of Obviously, course. I'm not pretty. But... <laughs> 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 and Jess, where can the people find you? You can find me in the library reading my books. I'm not really on the social, so you, you know he's catch me. He's on, talking nonsense on Spice's channel. You know, no, <laughs> well, seriously, no social, no, no social, no, 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 no. Hey, well, you what? You're a discreet guy or something? What's going on? You don't want to tell people. Careful. You don't want to follow Guess you. what? Guess what? He reminds me of her own ad grips. <laughs> I've seen on beats in school, yeah? yeah, they had to put them in. So why don't you social media? They say because I'm a family man. They ain't got social. And guys, remember, you can find me. You can, you, you can subscribe to the channel. And also remember to follow Red United TV 1 on the Instagram. You know, just you'll see the socials just above. Remember, guys, keep it united. And remember to keep it Red United. Peace out.